Welcome back to my channel, guys. We are here with Yo Lisa here. I do have their 13 by 4 uh, lace front to wig. She is 180% in density and her length is 24 inches. So the hair felt great coming out of the box. It did not give, any, give me those dry vibes like I need to cool wash it. It didn't feel like that at all. As you guys can see, the hair was very, very uh, shiny. It had luster and it had a lot of body. So we are here for that. This is the first day um, I was installing it. And as you guys can see, they did give us a perimeter where the baby hairs go. I did push it back though, just so I could give you guys a full view of what the hairline looks like. Okay. But I love the hair. This is what the curls will look like when you first get it. Okay. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, guys, so this is actually a different day. Those contacts were scaring me. They were too bright. I did not like them, so I switched contacts. So as you guys can see, I don't look so scary. Off camera, actually, I am wearing the same shirt, y'all. Different day, same shirt. <laughs> but anyway, my makeup was terrible. It was so terrible, so don't come for me. But anyway, off camera, I did go ahead and um, pluck the lace. I wanted to thin out the hairline. It was actually a little bit too thick for my liking, but to each its own. You do not have to do that step. You can leave it as is. Put your baby hairs in and you know or not and going about your business but like i said um this unit is 180 percent and that was toward the frontal portion as well so it was quite thick um but i don't like a lot of volume up there so i did go ahead and thin it out i cut the lace off as you guys can see this where y'all can see my makeup is just trash complete trash it looks orangey it just foundation was horrible wrong color don't come for me don't come for me <laughs> but anyway let's just not let's just not with that but anyway we're gonna go ahead and secure it down i'm gonna use my got to be glue spray this day that's my handy dandy go-to y'all i just can't i mean i love got to be glue but it's just something i know i can work with and it's just gonna make the lace just melt you know so that's what i decided to use All right, guys, so I am going in with my hot comb. I did put my bedhead wax stick on it just to lay it down. I did this step prior to doing my baby hairs. But, um, yeah, I am going to show you guys partial of that since this is the first initial day. I have not washed this hair in this clip. I have not did any um bleaching of the knots in this clip so this is just giving lace you see this i mean scalp this was this unit was giving me scalp just with me plucking and me putting foundation underneath for the lace y'all cannot tell me that it doesn't look like scalp now i'm gonna make up another we're not talking about that
I know I'm scaring y'all, right? Look at this transformation. <laughs> y'all probably say, what in the heck? Now, this is actually a whole nother day as well. Um, this is probably the following week. Off camera, I did go ahead and bleach the knots. And I felt like it was just a better deal, okay? So we're going to go ahead and melt these baby hairs and we're going to get everything back secured on. I do not show that process because y'all seen that in the beginning. But I feel like my baby hairs turned out amazing this time around. I just fell in love with how I did my baby hairs this day. Like, sis, no one can freaking come for me. This unit looks like freaking scalp. And tell me otherwise. Tell me otherwise. Um, Like I said, I didn't really need to bleach the knots, but I was just being extra. Now, this clip... And the clip you just seen, the hair was washed uh, uh, and conditioned. It looks a little stringy because I did put some, um, what is it, hair sheen in it just to give it a little bit of shine, being a little extra. I just love that specific hair sheen I have. It just smells good, so I threw it in there. But that's why it looks a little, you know, weighed down. As you guys can see, when you wash your body wave hair, of course, it does not you know come the body waves just you know it just drops it's very very loose very very faint you can put them back in i have i mean you can put them back in if you want but today i decided to do wand curls i did not know where i was going with that last thought but anyway uh i washed it and conditioned it and this is what the hair is given so like i said i'm just doing some spiral curls and just gonna blow it out like i said this is a body weight wig so i definitely wanted to test out if it could hold a curl and let me tell you guys this is one of my favorite go-to wigs that i will be pulling out and wearing when it comes down to me wearing curls because it is so hard find a wig that can hold a curl even though it's body weight you know is my go-to wig for these curls i don't know if it was a method i used but i'm blaming the wig i'm telling you because i used this method on other wigs before and it still didn't last me it didn't last me at all the time that i got home you know so i am completely obsessed now i didn't have any problems with this unit tangling up on me at all not at all i have i could not you couldn't come for me if you said my wig is tangled. You could not tell me that it did because it did not. Um, I did wash it and condition it like I stated. And I did get shedding. I got shedding when washing it. And it was not like it was coming out in clumps and stuff like that. But there were shedding during that process. This hair was so soft. Steph, it was soft coming out of the package. But even after I washed it, it still gave me that soft and still gave me that luster and that body and that volume. I'm just here for it. So definitely, definitely would recommend if you're looking for a unit that can maintain curls like i said with body wave wigs you can straighten them out as well they're very very versatile but i'm loving the curls okay i'm loving how they did that i was combing these out for a minute y'all it, it still would not budge okay i like my curls a little bit loose too so i was playing with it a lot but these curls they was giving me life. They were giving me life. And like even after they loosened them up, they still didn't drop to the point where they fell completely out. You know how you had them units where the curls just come all the way out before you even get out the door? As y'all see, when I, I'm going to show you guys how I did the half up and half down, like the curls were still there, but they were looser, but they did not move from that looser um what is it looser uh pattern i think that's what it is but i'm rambling at this point y'all i'm really rambling but this is pretty much it don't forget to check out the description section below our information will be there i know sometimes i'll be saying information and be inaccurate <laughs> so please be make sure please do make sure you check the description section below so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed give this video a thumbs up if you did let me know and yeah until next time you go see you later bye guys